what's up and welcome back to what the hell am I doing so I've been sick for a week uh, my nose has been running my voice is different um, and um, let's talk about stocks so the S&P why S S&P 500 SPY it looks to be at all-time highs um, what did I trade today I paper traded and I real traded only one time, even though I had three day trades, EFOI. So I'm going to explain what I did. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So it's a downward trending chart that looks like it had a gap fill today to the 80s, you know, with the bottom at the 40s. And I looked at this and I looked at some other stocks that I ended up deleting but none of them looked good to me because they were all downward trending. And I was like looking, I was like not interested. And I don't like trading point cent stocks because like like point fifty cents, point six cents, because it makes me feel weird because I don't know like how many to buy. I don't know, I just get a weird feeling about it. But then I looked at Oracle. I wanted to try Oracle today because I've been watching a lot of Tim Bowen webinars. And um and I looked at E F O I it was green and the buy signal was 83 even though I'm not sure when the buy signal is like when do you buy it I don't know um, and it was till 113 I'm gonna show you on here what it looked like so buy signal at 83 and you have long and this is green till about resistance at 113 this tells you resistance points um, and the green says whether it's a long or a short and you know 30 cents move from 83 to 113 so I was like cool yeah these were the other ones I was looking at VLRX <coughs> Jeez Louise so literally after I sold it it became a short and it just did not have any movement and we're gonna look at it um, so this is cool. Uh, aside from the daily chart of a gap fill and a downward trending chart, didn't look good. But around this time, I saw Oracle, and I was like, "Well, if there's 30 cent movement, I might as well try it." Um, so, you know, and where is 80 cents to buy? I guess around here, but it just didn't. It just didn't continue to break out. So. Um, so where were we? So it spiked from about the 50s to the 80s, had a little pullback, high or low, and from 65 to 95, cool move. And I think, you know, I waited for a pullback. You know, this was my, this is the high of the day. It's sitting right on top of it. It looks beautiful, right? And then this is my green candle, so this is my entry. I got in at um <coughs> I got in at 87.68 um so the top almost and I saw this go to 83 and I was like I'm going to wait till my risk is broken because this is like the pullback and I'm thinking it's going to keep grinding and it broke my level and I got out, my set my limit at like 0.799 I think and I got out at um 0.79 Seven six. So this was seven cent loss on four hundred shares. So it was around forty dollars. Um, I think I sized in too much, but I was like a little bit confused and like wondering. I was like, you know, I was gonna buy. I think I was gonna buy. I have around six hundred, seven hundred in my account, so I was gonna buy like more. But I was like, four hundred's fine. But it just makes me feel weird to buy that many and like I'm not sure which direction it's going. But it looked cool at the moment. So that was $40 loss. Um, but then I looked at Oracle later and I was like paper trading and just trying out ideas. I saw UAA, which is Under Armour. And I paper traded from here to here. I was like actually going to buy this and I was like forget it. Um, I would have lost like you know 20 cents but this was like a q2 earnings but they were i think they had bad earnings or something but you know buying here at 22 or, or buying here at 22 12, 20 risking off of 22 that was the ideal move of the day um 
this like totally crashed from the 27s to the 22s and had a nice bounce to the 24s. <coughs> so I only saw this after the fact, but Oracle was like buy a 23, buy a 27 or sell a 27. That's why I started looking at it here because I thought it could go to 27 again. So I don't know exactly how Oracle works, but that's pretty much what I did today. And then I was also looking at other stocks into the close, like NBR, and I paper traded this from the two, or no, this one I messed up on. I bought it here and I sold it here and I did, it just was like a fake out breakout. I thought it was going to keep grinding higher. Um, and I had a good idea on SLCA, buying at 1255 and selling at 1277. It ended up going to like 1280s. Um, this was like a nice, I guess you could call it cup and handle maybe, I don't know, but a nice like breakout into the close off of this level. Um, you know, I guess the breakout was in the 40s, it went to the 80s, 90s, so nice movement. Even though it's a bigger flow with not as much volume, it's crazy. But, you know, like buying, like this being my floor of 1080 and buying here at 11, risking 20 cents, it never got to this level. So... I'm going to try to use, so this, these were top percent gainers, bigger floats that I checked out. Um, CNX also had like a really pretty move from the sixes to the sevens. So these higher price, bigger float, low volume stocks that grind all day, like, I don't know, they're interesting to me. This one didn't really do anything, bigger float, low volume. But from here, it's like 29 to the, I don't know. So let's take this one off. Um, so like SLCA, CNX, NBR, these had just like pretty moves today, but I mean, there's no chance in hell I would have, I would have done anything because of the flow. So maybe I need to re reassess some stuff. I don't know. But, um, you know what I'm proud of today that I had three day trades, but I only used one, um, and unfortunately, my idea didn't work, and I got out right away. It's in the 79s um, because this went to 75. So uh, as usual, I still don't know what I'm doing, um, but there were some pretty moves today. Um, you know, $2 here and $2.70 here and... A dollar here, <laughs> one fifty. So I don't know, man. I don't know. But um, that was my trade for today. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.